Welcome to Juulvert's uh, video version of how to build an orbiter. Thank you for purchasing an orbiter bicycle, electric bicycle from us. This is what it looks like when you get it shipped or brought to your home in the box. So you open up the box, here's your bike, here's your stuff. This is what it looks like, fresh brand new. And then we just start taking out all the foam and the packaging and you pull it out of the box after you've unwrapped this part. So this is uh, freshly pulled out of the box. Uh, it's got all the foam on it. It's zip ties, things, all the things together. Uh, you're gonna need these clippers to just start clipping zip ties, pull off the foam, uh, recycle this stuff where you can. We try to, and uh, I'm just gonna separate the parts. And uh, once I get all the foam and packaging material off of this, we'll start it again from there. Okay, now that we've taken off the uh, protective packaging and uh, other materials that we will now call garbage or recyclable uh, pieces, uh, we have the, just the remaining orbiter frame. Its handlebars are in front, but I didn't attach it. We will do that in a bit. Here's the front wheel with its axle still attached. We'll take it off and attach it in a little bit. And we have the other parts we have here are the passenger side uh, footrest platforms, the pedals, a tool kit, your charger that you'll charge your e-bike orbiter with. Uh, the headlight is right here. This right here is your front fender. And this is the back rack. And we'll all attach that very shortly. Okay, this is the toolkit that comes with your orbiter, your Juulvert orbiter electric bicycle. Inside your toolkit bag, you'll have some hex wrenches, also known as Allen keys, but the generic term is hex wrenches. They are sizes of two millimeter, uh, three millimeter, four, five, and six millimeter. Wrenches, you got 18, 16, 15, 13 and sizes and this right here is your handy screwdriver it's got your Phillips head and your flat head and it just goes in simply with a turn and a twist and here's what we'll be using to build your bike so uh, we'll start with putting our handlebars attached to the frame the forks and uh, we'll use our number five hex wrench to do that. There are screws that will tighten as we put it in here. There's two on each side and one in the center that will need the tightening. And when we do this, what you'll need to know and be aware of, because uh, you will adjust this for your own height, there are these markings about three inches up from the bottom of the handlebars. There's these little etchings. It's really hard to tell. Uh, we can get a flashlight on it in a little bit, but about three inches up there's these little hash marks that you should uh, Not go above it should be at least these three inches should be into the housing of it uh, So make a mark maybe with something white yourself so that you know later on if you're going to be adjusting this frequently not to go uh, above that those marks, but you just put it on in It's pretty simple straightforward Slide it down, past the mark, obviously, maybe not too low, and then you just start tightening away. You got, you start with the back end because it's easier to twist this way, going like that. So I just wanted to show this, uh, these etchings at the three inch marks with a little more light on it. And I wanna have, make sure that the handlebars are within its housing at least uh, up until this part and don't forget to tighten all four of the side hex screws and the one in the center uh, uh, and this one in the center thank you okay so it's time to put the front wheel on and but you do that by first by uh, taking off the axle from its house it's it's captured here on your spokes so it's just a simple clip of the zip tie, zip ties, plural, and you've, you've freed it 
and get it out of its uh, little plastic bag. So after you've taken it out of its uh, bag, you need to unscrew one end of the axle, the axle screw here, and take off one of the springs. And you see how the, the triangle spring uh, is pointed the narrow end in towards center as this one also is wider end towards out and the narrow towards center. So you have these off, you slide it through, and when you fit it in, you'll put these on the other side. So after you've put the axle through, you take the narrow end, slide it towards the center, and you take the screw to the end, you just, just a little bit, because you're gonna need to have the space uh, to put the forks to rest it in there and you want to have a little bit of play between the two ends. So now we're going to take off the plastic on the forks to put the wheel on the frame. Okay, so when you put the wheel into the center here, I left everything loose. It was just, I just put the forks rested inside here on the piece of metal where the spring is at. Make sure it's slid in, and then we're gonna tighten it, you know? And you gotta have the disc for the brake on the same side as where the caliper is. That'll stop your bike, at least from the front side. But now that you got this in the right location, make sure you tighten it up properly and from there by, by attaching the caliper next. But tighten this up. And when you got it nice and tight, you wanna make sure that you do it so that you can close it. See, now I, did, I tightened the other side a little too much because I can't close it all the way. You have to have it just loose enough. <laughs> Let me loosen it here. Uh, wrong way, that's loosening it. On this side. Just loose enough so that when you go like this, you can do that tightly and growl. Okay, and before you do anything else, you can now, that you have your front wheel on, you can now just put your case stand down and make your life easier for the rest of this build. So here's your brake caliper. Uh, it's got the screws already attached that you'll be needing to first undo in order to properly attach this to your uh, bicycle and its disc brake, brake disc. So first you take those two out. This is the part that they will be screwed back into to here and to here. You will need to put it on the disc side. And if you'll notice from underneath, you've got pads. These are your brake pads. It might even help to open this up a little bit further this way so that you have more space there to put the uh, disc inside of. You'll be putting that in between these two pads right here. And that's how that will fit. Alright, so I'm loosening this up, giving yourself plenty of room to attach. Alright, I take the screw, the top one, 